Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. And remember, it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So, as we head into the middle of January, the NBA season is in full swing, and we have plenty of games in store for you for this Saturday, January the 16th. And with the big blockbuster trade with the New Jersey Nets acquiring James Harden, they are the featured game. So, we're going to take a look at a bunch of these games. So we're going to scroll down and through. And before I start, though, I want to remind you that if you're not already a member, please join. You will have access to the Z Code VIP Club section where you will have all these wonderful tools to help you make your picks. So let's scroll down here and take a look at what we got. Houston and San Antonio. We're not going to look at that one. Orlando and Brooklyn. So here we go. The Magic come in with the fifth best record in the Eastern Conference, and the Nets are fourth. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you will see there's an 18 to 10 advantage for Orlando over Brooklyn. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, you will see they have not played this season. The Nets are average status right now, and the Magic are ice cold down. You see the odds have not yet been placed yet for this game, but we're still going to go through with this and make the picks. We have plenty of information here that we can go on to make our picks. You want to go now to look at the totals predictor to check uh, the over and under. You will see that Orlando is playing in games trending under the line. Brooklyn is playing in games trending well over the line. So generally, when we have uh, opposite sides of the line, I will say avoid betting the over under. But with Harden coming in, there's going to be a lot of scoring. This, this game is going to go over. That's going to be a very safe bet. You want to take a look at how... Consistent the two teams have been according to their favorite underdog stats. Look at this. Orlando, very consistent, very stable at plus six. And then that's way down here at minus two. Orlando is on the road. They will be a road underdog. They're consistently performing as such. The Nets are a much better team, especially with Harden. This should be quite an easy win for the Nets. Pick them to win and cover. I don't know what the spread is. It's not going to matter. The Nets are going to win and cover it. Charlotte and Toronto. The Hornets are hovering around the 500 mark, while the Raptors have struggled to the second worst record in the Eastern Conference. So not surprisingly, the Raptors are dead status at the moment, and the Hornets are burning hot. If you look at the power ranking indicator, we will see with the burning hot status, going way up to plus 19 are the Hornets, and the Raptors are down here at plus 4. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. The two teams met back on December the 14th with Toronto winning by three. If you look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under, Charlotte is playing in games trending way under the line. Toronto is slightly over the line. Generally, I would say to avoid the over under in cases like this. But since they are significantly under with the Hornets, I would bet the under on this one. How consistent have the two teams been? You can see here that the Hornets are very inconsistent according to their favorite underdog status. So take that with a grain of salt before placing your bet. And the Raptors are also relatively inconsistent at minus one. So what I think is going to happen with this game is I believe that the Raptors are just playing so bad. I think that the Hornets will find a way to win on the road. Perhaps maybe even overtime. The Detroit Pistons and the Miami Heat. The Pistons have the worst record in the Eastern Conference. The Miami Heat are struggling to reach the 500 mark. After an excellent season in 2019-20, you see that the Pistons are ice cold down at the moment. The Heat are average down. If you look at the power ranking indicator, again, we will see here up and down is Miami there at plus 13 right now, and Detroit is at plus 1. If you're considering the over and under like we always do, slightly over the line here for Detroit. And slightly under the line for Miami. It's kind of a toss-up here whether to bet the over-under. I would say probably not to bet the over-under on this one. If you look at the volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams have been. Detroit at plus six, very stable. Not playing well, but very stable. And Miami is at plus two. So since Detroit is going to be an underdog and they're consistently performing as such, this is a prime time to bet Miami. They will win the game, and probably cover the spread also. 
the Philadelphia 76ers and the Memphis Grizzlies. After dropping two out of three with a depleted roster due to the COVID-19 protocols, the Philadelphia 76ers should have most of their lineup back for this matchup. They are near the top of the Eastern Conference, while the Grizzlies are near the bottom of the Western Conference. As such, if you look at the power ranking indicator, not surprising, Philadelphia is, is at plus 25, a big advantage, plus 25 to plus 9. If you're considering the over and under, Philadelphia is playing in games trending under the line. Memphis is playing in games trending way under the line. Look at this. Minus 6. This is going to be a low-scoring game. You can book it, bet the under on this one. Memphis is burning hot at the moment, though, having won their last two. Well, Philadelphia is average at the moment. I want to see how consistent the two teams have been. Again, we take a look at the volatility oscillator. Philadelphia at plus seven. They are really performing according to their favorite underdog stats. So really take a look at this before the game to see who is the favorite, although the line has not yet been set. I would be willing to bet that the Philadelphia 76ers will be a road uh, road favorite. Maybe not by a lot, probably slight, but they will be a road favorite. I, I will predict them to win the game. The Indiana Pacers and the Phoenix Suns. If you look at this one here, Indiana comes in fourth in the Eastern Conference. Phoenix is one of the surprise teams in the league, and they are fourth in the Western Conference. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator again, who has the advantage? Well, Phoenix at plus 28. Indiana was way up there at plus 28 as well, just a, not even a week ago, and now they have dropped to plus 18. Indiana has average stats. They have Lost two out of their last three. Phoenix is averaged down. They are two and two over their last four. If you're considering the over and under, again, we will take a look at this. The line here with Indiana trending slightly over the line. Phoenix trending slightly under the line. Again, because of the discrepancy here, I would probably avoid betting the over and under on this one since they're on opposite sides of the line. Hold the oscillator. Once again, we can see what's happening here. Oh, look at this. Both teams were moderately stable just not too long ago. What, since about a week ago? Yeah, on January 6th. And they both dropped off the table down to minus two, which means they're not performing according to their favorite underdog status. Take that into consideration before betting this one. Actually, maybe don't even look at the favorite underdog status since both teams just aren't playing up to it. So what I think is going to happen then is that the Suns probably will have a slight advantage playing at home. I predict them to win this game and cover the spread. And the final game is Atlanta and Portland. I'm not really going to take a look at that one this time. So there you have it. Those are the matchups for Saturday, January the 16th of 2021. Uh, you might want to check back in a day or two to check the lines before the game. It should be up. And then you can make your picks more accordingly. But there you have it. Happy betting. We will see you next time.